thank you for starting your morning with us at WBTV. It is Thursday, September 2nd. And now at 6.30, a big weekend ahead in Uptown Charlotte gets underway today. Sharon Hayes is live at Bank of America Stadium. Well, it's an exciting weekend, as you said, John, because the Duke's Mayo Classic is happening at Bank of America Stadium, and we're wrapping up the weekend with the Around the Crown 10K, and so we're telling you everything you need to know from road closures to events surrounding uh, the two events so that you can navigate this weekend with ease. And a warning from the CDC, if you're unvaccinated, stay home this Labor Day weekend. We'll have that and more ways for you to celebrate more safely. And a sewage spill in Charlotte kills around 1,000 fish. What we're learning about the cause and the impact in the area. And I'm following breaking news in the Alert Center. At least eight dead in the Northeast in connection with Ida. I have that update for you. Also, tracking these incredible images coming out of the Northeast. So, New York and New Jersey. I'll have the latest in the Alert Center. And welcome back to WBTV News this morning here on this Thursday, September 2nd. I'm John Carter. I'm Mary King. And I'm meteorologist Al Conklin. Abby's going to be talking about what happened in the Northeast yesterday and last night. Incredible flooding oh, out there. Oh, yeah. Just devastating. devastating. Yeah. It really is. Um, but we, on the flip side, you can see behind us, have just a gorgeous start to our day. It makes you feel kind of guilty because this is beautiful. It, it is. And uh, you know what? Ida has pulled out and now high pressure is building in and this is what you're going to get. Sunshine out there, folks. Going to take you up to uh, Lake Norman this morning. Again, we're getting a brighter sky there as well. This is Cornelius from ResortCams.com. Freedom Boat Club, you're looking great there early this morning. And temperatures are actually running anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees cooler this morning than where they were at this time yesterday. We've got 50s in the mountains. Most of us are in the 60s this morning. 62 Salisbury, 65 Gastonia, Charlotte, 66 in Monroe, 67 Albemarle, 62 Morganton, and about 70 now for Rockingham and Chesterfield. So out the door this morning for the bus stop. Sunshine will rule the roost through the day today. 65 at 7 o'clock, close to 80 at lunchtime. We'll look for high this afternoon, about 84 degrees, again, with low humidity. And tonight, we're set the stage for the coolest night in about nine weeks. Yeah, with lows in the 40s across the mountains, 50s into the Piedmont. We'll talk about how long this pattern is going to hold. A little bit of a wrinkle that involves just a little bit of rain for part of your holiday weekend. I've got that in the seven-day planner in just a few minutes. Now, back over to this first alert traffic. All right, now, if you're headed out on this beautiful morning, want to get you updated on your first alert traffic, and let's give you a live look first at current conditions. Drive times on the right side of your screen if you're headed into Uptown Charlotte. Uh, we're still watching this crash that is reported 85 South uh, right after Sam Wilson Road. And we've got Storm 3 on the way to that scene this morning uh, on the roadways for us. And I want to take a live picture here. I was trying to get the location to update. Uh, we're not there just yet, but we will be soon. And as soon as we get to that scene, he's on 85, actually just passing um, the UNC Charlotte area. So as soon as he gets over to that crash, we'll get you an update here on air and online. Today, the start of a very busy four days in Uptown. The Duke's Mayo Classic at Bank of America Stadium and the second Around the Crown 10K. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether you're going to the events themselves. You're going to be impacted if you're in the Uptown Charlotte area regardless because of the traffic. Yeah, our Sharon Hayes live right now on Mid Street in Uptown. Sharon, big weekend. Walk us through what we need to know. You said it, Mary. Good morning, Mary and John. It is a very big weekend. A lot of people, fans, runners are going to be centralized in this location where I am on Main Street. And as you can see, a lot of the setup is underway, if not complete already. Again, this is Main Street right outside of Bank of America Stadium. And I am seeing some of the workers walking by and doing their own preparations as well, just in time for the game that is later today, which is East Carolina taking on App State University in the first game of Duke's Mayo Club. Classic. And then Saturday, Clemson takes on Georgia, but there are a multitude of different events in between the games, including fan fests and concerts, a lot of fun to be had for the people who want to enjoy this. And officials do say this is coming at a time when, you know, these events are needed, not just for morale, but also as an economic boost. A lot of activities, we want people to come in and enjoy our great city. Uh, and best of all, the impact it's going to have on the hospitality industry that's just been crushed, as we all know, during the pandemic. So to see the hotels full, restaurants full, it's going to be a nice weekend. 
Now, as I've kind of mentioned already, the road closures for the Duke's Mayo Classic are already in place, including here on South Mint Street. It's closed between Carson Boulevard and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Also, West Stonewall Street between South Mint Street and South Church Street and Graham Street and Stonewall Street between Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and also Church Street as well. And these closures are going to remain in place until Sunday morning. As I said, I've seen the crews already out here, CMPD officers circling the area as well. So they're definitely prepared to, to see all of the fans come and enjoy the game starting tonight. I'm Sharon Hayes reporting live in Uptown Charlotte. WBTV on your side. All right, Sharon. Speaking of Duke's Mayo, today on QC Morning, we are heading out to the factory in South Carolina to find out how Duke's Mayo got started. And wait until you hear just how many bottles they make in one day. And we also want to note, UNC Charlotte is having its first football game of the season tomorrow night at home. They're going to be taking on Duke, the Blue Devils, right here in Charlotte at 7.30. And it is a green out, so fans are asked to wear their 49er green. All right, so All right. much. Yeah. All right, right now, the CDC urging unvaccinated Americans to stay home this upcoming Labor Day weekend. Health officials say the risk of being infected with COVID-19 is high right now. To celebrate the unofficial end of summer, the CDC says staying outdoors with others who are vaccinated and wearing masks in public will help prevent the spread of COVID-19. The U.S. is surpassing an average of 160,000 new COVID-19 cases a day. Concern also growing over the number of infections reported in children, many of whom do not have access to a vaccine at this point. The American Academy of Pediatrics says more than 200,000 children tested positive for COVID-19 in the last week. And that was a five-fold increase from just a month ago. Well, happening today, students and staff at Catawba County Schools and Idaho State School Schools now have to wear face masks while indoors. Both districts reversed their mask policies earlier this week. All school districts in North Carolina are now required to meet every month to discuss face mask policies. New this morning, 62% of nearly 8,000 Charlotte government employees are at least partially vaccinated. Vaccination rates vary across city departments. We're told the Charlotte Fire Department is 49% vaccinated. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police has a 63% vaccination rate. The city has been offering $250 to its employees who get vaccinated by September 30th. So far, the city does not have testing requirements for unvaccinated workers. Right now, Moderna looking to get its COVID-19 booster approved by the FDA. Yeah, the company shared data from a study that gave a booster to people six months after their second dose. Well, results show antibodies appear to be active against variants like Delta. White House health officials want boosters to be available to everyone starting the week of September 20th. However, the FDA has not yet given the go-ahead. And right now, the CDC says everyone should get a booster shot eight months after your second dose of Pfizer or Moderna. WBTV's Alex Giles asked a doctor from StarMed Healthcare about that time frame. What we realize is our antibodies are definitely decreasing as time goes on. And we knew that was going to happen. We knew that when people are naturally sick, their antibodies are only lasting about three to six months. So with Pfizer, it's only lasting about six months, seven months. With Moderna, it's lasting about eight months. So that's why they picked that time frame so we can go ahead and vaccinate people and get that immune system going back up. Now, a lot of people got their vaccines around that March and April time frame, so eight months will be around November and December. But what does that mean for other vaccines like the flu shot? Well, you can find out more right now on the WBTV's Good Question podcast. Right now in North Carolina, more than 7,000 new COVID-19 infections. This is similar to the daily case numbers we were reporting in January, and that was when we saw the winter peak of the pandemic. And right now in South Carolina, more than 2,200 people are hospitalized. That's an 8% increase since last week. Right now, more than 15% of people tested are coming back positive for COVID-19. 
And this is new this morning. Around 1,000 fish are dead after sewage spilled into Little Sugar Creek. Our partners at the Observer report an estimated 230,000 gallons of that spilled at Orbit Energy. And we've mapped out the area for you. Company basins caught most of the wastewater, but some overflowed into the Derrida branch of the creek. The company produces electricity by liquefying food waste, turning it into methane, and then burning it. Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services making sure the company restores areas is affected by the spill and puts measures in place to prevent future issues. Next on WBTV News this morning, a student shot and killed at a North Carolina high school. Governor Cooper set to be in Winston-Salem today to visit the school, plus when we could possibly learn more about a motive. Abby. Tracking the very latest in the Alert Center when it comes to the remnants of Ida and its impact on the Northeast, at least eight deaths in New York and New Jersey, plus getting incredible images like this out of a subway in New York City. Al. Out there this morning, all quiet here. Now that Ida has pulled away, we've got a beautiful start to the day. That's downtown Lincoln. The sun just now coming up in some of the coolest temperatures we've seen in a while. We're in the 60s now, headed for about 84 this afternoon. And the coolest night ahead in about nine weeks. We'll talk about that your holiday weekend forecast when we come back. Closed captioning on WBTV News is sponsored by Subaru South Boulevard and Subaru Concord. Not just boys in blue, women have a vital role in law enforcement. But are there enough women hired as officers? We think we should do better. WBTV looks into how CMPD stacks up with other cities and how one initiative is working to improve that. Tonight at 6. Time and temperature on WBTV is sponsored by Honda Dealers of the Carolinas. Hearth and Patio is ready for summer celebrations. Some of life's favorite moments are spent outdoors with family and friends, and this summer is even more special with us being able to spend time together again. Get your outdoor living areas ready for your summer celebrations by shopping at Hearth and Patio. Hey folks, there's 5,000 reasons to take a short drive to Hickory. It's our $5,000 test drive, where you can win $5,000 by simply test driving a car. This is Ming from Hickory. She won $5,000, and you can too. Before you buy it, give Mike a try. 1-800-NEW-TOYOTA. The Design Center at Carpet and Flooring Liquidators. Heavy plush carpet, completely installed for as low as $249 per square foot. Waterproof luxury vinyl flooring, starting at just $199 a square foot. Come see us at the Design Center at Carpet and Flooring Liquidators. Save big during Plaza Appliance Mart's Labor Day sale, including the short French door counter up refrigerator was $36.98, now $26.99. Save $9.99. Plaza Appliance Mart, what you can't get anywhere else. Okay, it's time to sell the house. Home selling with OfferPad is as easy as... Welcome to OfferPad. How can we help? Ooh, let's go with Express Sell. With a cash offer in 24 hours. Mm, close in 28 days. And a side of free local move. Mm, you got it. And that comes with no showing. <laughs> Extra no showing, please. Perfect. Any way you want to sell, you're sold with OfferPad. Start your free sales request at OfferPad.com today. Look who we've jumped in bed with. Introducing Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and & Foster mattresses. Now, all at Value City Furniture with our exclusive Dream Mattress. And now, get special financing on a mattress by itself or with sleep systems, bedroom furniture, and more. We've even made it easier to try out a mattress. No hassle, no worries. The most loved brands plus our Dream Mattress. Your Dream Team. Now, all at Value City Furniture. Busted concrete on sidewalks and driveways, what an eyesore. Even worse, what a liability. Hey, watch out for that crack. We have an amazing technology that lifts and repairs damaged concrete. Call Dry Pro because with concrete issues, time is not on your side. At Carhartt, when the band Metallica calls, you listen. Turns out we both want to help America's next generation of skilled workers. Because there's a big new world to be built out there. And it'll take skills, education, and courage to do it. That's why this Labor Day, all sales on Carhartt.com will be donated to Metallica's foundation, All Within My Hands. A group that's dedicated to helping train our future workforce. If you've been hurt, get the advice and help you need. Call DeMeo offices.
It is now 644 and happening today, Governor Roy Cooper will visit Mount Tabor High School in Winston-Salem after a student was shot and killed there. The victim being identified as William Miller Jr., a suspect who is believed to be a student, was arrested hours later. The community gathered for a vigil last night to honor the victim. Students say they are shaken and they are just trying to understand what happened. You wake up and you're thinking about probably things and things like my quiz and calculus, you know. And here we are, suffering the loss of a peer. It's just so tragic. It's heartbreaking. Right now, police have not released a motive. We are expecting to get another update on this later this morning from Forsyth County officials. Well, breaking overnight, we're continuing to follow the impacts of Ida after its remnants hit the Northeast. And we've just seen incredible images coming out of New York and New Jersey. We've also sadly learned that the death toll has increased this morning. Abby Tedros in the alert in the Weather Center, rather, alongside meteorologist Al Conklin. Yeah, that new information is just coming in. I'm going to check in with Al about this in just a moment. But those de that death toll stands at 8 this morning, and at least one of those individuals, a toddler, two years old, I want to show you this video showing what exactly happened out there. Storm chasers capturing these images of an apparent tornado. The National Weather Service says it issued its first ever flash flood emergency for parts of New York City. Take a look at this. So we know that heavy rain caused this subway to flood. As you can see, a ton of water pouring through the tunnel. And at one point, you can see a train stop underneath it. Uh, water just rising up to the ankles of that person who was shooting that video. And not the only subway that we oh, no. saw no. with this type of a situation with a densely populated area like New York City. Mm -hmm. And that amount of rain, just incredible images that we have been seeing all morning. Yeah, and particularly in Manhattan, many subway stations were flooded. Uh, they recorded upwards of six inches of of rain there in six hours, three inches coming in just a one hour period. And as you mentioned, WPIX in New York reporting one of those fatalities, a toddler that drowned. Unfortunately, just a terrible situation, Abby. Uh, and we're looking at weather up there now that uh, is, is basically, uh, they're still dealing with rain in New England, but it has ended in New York. But I mean, what we're talking about here is 10, 11, 12 inches of rain. And when you put that in that concrete and asphalt of the Northeast Corridor, we feared this yesterday. I've been talking about this for the last two days that this was on the way for these folks. Talked to family up there that had flooding uh, last night in, uh, in and around New York City. Just incredible stuff up that way. Now, these are just the damage reports that have come in, and every one of these blue circles represents a flooded home or business. And there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, up there. And they're still getting rain this morning in eastern New England, but that's now pushing away. Next stop will be the Canadian Maritimes. And you think about more fatalities with this in the Northeast than there were in the Gulf coast when this thing made landfall as a major hurricane. So it just goes to show you that we can get these things have long stretches, long tentacles, if you will. Now, we've cleared out here, and we're nice and dry. We've got high pressure that's building in, and we've got a fantastic start to our day. We're going to be looking at temperatures that will be a little bit below average for the next couple of days. Right now, 65. We'll hold in the 60s through 9 o'clock, up to about 72 here as we head towards 10 o'clock. Later this afternoon, you're coming home from work and school. Indian Trail, about 84. Charitable, 82. West Charlotte, 84. Monroe, about 85. And Harrisburg, 82. Mostly sunny skies. Tonight, the coolest weather in nine weeks. 40s will be very common north of I-40. The rest of us, even in the Piedmont here, will be in the 50s. I think we do it again tomorrow night as that high pressure will just settle right across the region. So cooler, drier, lower humidity. Now, on the back side of this, you typically get warmer weather. And that's going to be the case. We will start to inch up a little bit over the holiday weekend. But not noticeably so until perhaps we get into Sunday and Monday. Waltz back up. Duke's Mayo, classic game tonight. 78 degrees at kickoff. East Carolina and Appalachian State. You're looking good. The end of the game, temperatures will likely be in the 60s. Your weekend forecast, that low humidity, that's going to hold here for Saturday. It starts to come up a little bit on Sunday, a small rain risk there. And then I've got just a tiny mention, a 20% chance of your will for Monday. So if you're making outdoor plans, I wouldn't cancel any of them just yet. You're going to fire up the grill with some friends and family. Yeah, I like the hot dogs, the hamburgers, throw a little cheese on there, all right? Small storm risk, but about 90 degrees, which is typical for, again, Labor Day. Although the average now is down into the mid-80s, and we're going to be actually a little bit below that here for today, tonight, and tomorrow. A little bit cooler than average, and then we'll start to inch back up on the backside of that high. So 84 for today, 56 for tonight, 84 for tomorrow. 
tomorrow. Saturday looks great. Saturday evening's game with Clemson and Georgia looking good. Of course, we've got around the crown. We'll start in the 60s here on Sunday. And Labor Day itself about 90, lower 90s for Monday and close to 90 on Tuesday. All right, that's your forecast. Time now to get a check of first alert traffic. All right, now just about 6.50 on this Thursday morning. As you head out the door, here's a live look at the current conditions map. A new crash reported uh, on 74. Of course, that's Independence Boulevard northbound at Briar Creek Road. That's got a lane block that just popped up on the screen. And you'll see this slope on your screen as well, 85 south, just outside of the 485 loop there as you're headed toward Gaston County. And we've got Storm 3 there on the scene this morning. Uh, the crash has actually been moved to the shoulder. We had two lanes blocked, uh, but the crash has been cleared to the shoulder, but you saw there's still a little bit of slow up. So if you're headed that way and that's part of your commute, just be aware of those flashing lights and those folks who are working that scene out there. And we'll do another check of traffic before the end of the show here this morning. And next on WBTV News this morning, breaking overnight, a deadly crash in Charlotte. What we're learning after Beatty's Ford Road was closed for hours. Michael bought a bed without talking to a mattress firm sleep expert. He can't sleep. Now he's thinking he's forgetting something. Dad? For real sleep, go to mattress firm. Unjunk your sleep. Need a second opinion on your air conditioning system? No problem. One call does it all. Call Adams. Call Adams, Charlotte's expert since 1944. Plus, right now with Adams, you can save big on all train equipment. Call Adams, y'all. Call Coit Services today for 30% off carpet cleaning. 1-800-4-COIT. Where should you start when you're told you have cancer? Start with getting a second opinion at Cancer Treatment Centers of America, where nearly 7 out of 10 patients choose to treat with us after a second opinion. Get advanced diagnostics and precision treatment options from our team of experts who treat only cancer and learn about treatment options you may not know exist. Because a second opinion might be the right one. Call now. Don't miss the final days of Toyota's national sales event at Toyota of North Charlotte. Can't believe that Daniel deal you got me on my insurance. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great rates to everyone. Sure you do. You want to meet the queen? Uh, I'm not dressed for that. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Honestly, we didn't call you about your warranty, but if you need a new car and you like an easy process, call us, 888-31-DODGE, or click 31dodge.tv. Everyone likes choices. Check out one of the largest inventories in the Southeast. 31dodge.tv. Click 31dodge.tv. Pick your favorite, then watch the magic happen. And the excitement begins as your new car arrives at the front door. If you want to buy anything auto-related, we make it easy. Click 31dodge.tv or call 888-31-DODGE. During Ram Power Days. Hello, house guests. Come on. Stay tuned, America. This competition starts now. Let's do this. Like a ninja. I am just the hot mess express. I got choked up a little bit. The pressure is turned up. I am definitely feeling the burn on this one. I want, I want, I want. New Big Brother, tonight at 8, 7 central. Or stream anytime. I'm so excited. On CBS. After an accident, here's what you can expect from Crumley Roberts. I am a cheerful hello. I am a shoulder you can lean on. I am making sure you get the medical care you need. I am fighting for the compensation you deserve. I am a prompt and courteous phone call when you have questions. I am Crumley Roberts. I am Crumley Roberts. I am Crumley Roberts. We are Crumley Roberts, and we stand up for you. Call 800-288-1LAW. This Labor Day, put an end to junk sleep. Right now at Mattress Firm, save up to $500 on our top-rated brands. Plus, get a free adjustable base when you spend $6.99 on Sealy. Unjunk your sleep, only at Mattress Firm. Before the time, breaking overnight news, one person dead, four others hurt following an overnight two-car crash. It happened around 11 o'clock on Beatty's Ford Road, Northwest Charlotte. Medic says... Three victims have life-threatening injuries. Beatty's Ford Road was closed for hours overnight, but it is back open now. All right, a busy weekend starting today here in the Queen City. Yeah, the Duke's Mayo Classic is going to kick off at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown tonight. Here is a live look. App State 
hosting a home game there against East Carolina. FanFest is going to start at 4.30. Kickoff is at 7.30. There are road closures, so be aware of traffic. And again, this is the first of two games that second, the big Saturday game with Georgia and Clemson. And this is new this morning. The Nicole and David Tepper Charitable Foundation pledging $1 million to Hurricane Ida relief. The Tepper is also pledging to support flood recovery efforts in western North Carolina after severe flooding following the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred that just poured all sorts of rain into that area. First alert traffic at a 655 as you head out. A live look at current conditions. We're doing pretty good out there this morning. A few trouble spots. A lane blocked on Independence northbound at Briar Creek. And then we had a crash on 85 South, but it's really quick cleaning up uh, very fast. Let's go out to Storm 3. has been on the side of the road where the accident's been moved to the shoulder. It's a little slow going through that area right near Sam Wilson Road, but uh, not too bad. Just take your time as emergency of crews are still out there. Meteorologist Al Conklin has some great news in our forecast. Yeah, a real pretty start to the day. We're going to take you out towards uh, Union County this morning, and that is Scott Clark Toad out there. You can see the sun coming up. The pavement is dry, no fog out there, and we have got a fantastic day on the way today. Mm -hmm. 50s in the mountains. We're in the low to mid 60s now in the Piedmont, upper 60s down towards Wadesburg, Chesterfield, and uh, Lancaster. Now, for today, we'll look for a nice one. Afternoon temperature 84 degrees, low humidity. Tonight, the coolest weather we have seen since the last week in June. Last time we were down in the mid 50s. 84 tomorrow, 87. On Saturday, game time temperatures will be probably right around the low 80s. Saturday night should be great, and Sunday and Monday looking good as well. Oh, right. Uh, I know. Coming up on Tuesday morning, take a look here. Nine o'clock. Dancer, singer, social media star, and bow enthusiast JoJo, JoJo Siwa has a new movie dropping on Paramount Plus. She's going to join us live on QC Morning at 10 a.m. Yeah, we're going to talk about the movie and her tour. It's actually coming to Charlotte next day. Yeah. And our own assistant news director, Holly Kellerher, supplied one of the bows here. Her daughter is a huge fan. So a shout out to Fiona this morning. Thanks for letting me borrow your bow, Fiona. I'm ready. All right. Thanks so much for watching WBTV News this morning. Go.